hey guys so in this video i'll be showing you how to use passport the password manager that i made so firstly i'm gonna open up my terminal and i'm gonna get into the directory where the files are stored so this is where they're stored so i'll just run python 3 and password manager so this will run my password manager right so as you can see here it shows you that to know more you can type help and this is the password manager and if you're new you should type new and if you are like you have already used this before then you should type old so we don't know anything so let's just type help so as it tells right now you are viewing the help section of past manager um, if you are using this for the first time then type new if you have already used this then type old and if you want to view some passwords that you have already saved then type old and choose option 2 and if you have already used this and want to save another password then type old and choose option 1 so we have not done anything so let's just go with new so we are going to press new so now it says that now we shall ask you for your credentials when ready type ready so are we ready yes we are so let's type ready and now it asks the website name of whose the details we want to save let's say i want to give instagram okay so instagram and it asks for email or username so i'll just give my username i'm kick josh78 and now it asks if you want to use a strong generated password type 1 or if you want to use your own password type 2 let's say i already have a password so i want to use my own password so i will just type 2 and it says that enter the password that you want to use i'm obviously not gonna type my real password but let's just type a password test one two three four okay now it asks enter a master password to store all your credentials make sure you remember it so this is going to be our gateway to all our passwords right so we should remember this something to keep in mind so i'll just give a simple password something such as hello one two three four and it says that your credentials have been saved and are encrypted and are stored okay so let's just see where our credentials are stored so as you can see over here there is a file called credentials.txt this is where our data is stored so we can just view this file so let's view the content of the file so if i hit enter as you can see there is some random string so basically this file is encrypted so that you cannot understand what's the real string or the text behind it okay so we need to decrypt it every time we want to see our password so let's say I want to know my password right now what was the password so I can just write my code again and this time I'll press old as you might remember it said that if you want to view a password that you have already saved you need to type old and then press option 2 so now I need to enter my master password which I told you you need to remember it was hello 1234 so as you enter it says that your file is not encrypted you can now go to it to see your credentials when done type encrypt okay so let's just go to our file so this is where our file was there and as you can see credentials.txt the site is on instagram the user id is on kjo78 and the password is test1234 we'll just close this and we have seen it so we can just encrypt this now now if you head back and see this again as you can see it's had turned once again into some random strings right so that's that and let's say you want to add some new passwords okay to it, right so you want to add let's say a few more passwords so for that we'll just give old once again and it asks to enter new password type one so we'll type one and then it asks for our master password right so our master password is hello one two three four so we'll enter that and now it goes through the same process like new so i'm just gonna keep ready here and then for the website disturb let's see i will give github so github is the site the username well let's keep it the same only so i'm just 78 now this time let's say i want to use a strong generated password by the system i don't want to use my own password this can be very useful for some random sites for which you don't want to use your own password as you might have some trust issues so you want to use some generated password 
right so i can just press one for a strong generated password it will ask me the length of the password that i want to use let's see i give a length of 16 so i hit enter and it says your credentials have now been stored okay so let's just see the content of the file so once again it shows some random string so basically this is encrypted now just like the previous one if we want to see this again we once again need to do the same procedure type old then option 2 and then give our master password that was hello1234 and now if we go to our file and open the credentials.txt as you can see this is the password that we were given from the system this is some random string and yeah that's it thank you for watching this